All right, I'm having a bit of an issue with my Toyota Prius 2006. Um, I turned the um, when I turned the car on, there's no there's no lights that uh, or the the speedometer doesn't come on. See, as you can hear, the air conditioning is on, but I don't see anything. I can't see my speed. I can't see anything really from uh, from this um, from this monitor right here this opens up or this turns on but then if I go on reverse just like this the camera the backup camera doesn't uh, doesn't come on so that's a big problem um, so I, I saw a video from a fellow youtuber Tyler D uh, I'll send you the link or I'll, I'll include the link down in the description below uh, but he has uh, he showed um, or he did a video on how to fix this problem because like as you, as you can see when I press off the car won't actually turn off the engine is still running okay so what I normally have to do is long press it okay so I long press it the car you can hear the car turned off but this monitor doesn't turn off so according to Tyler D um, this is uh, the, the cause of this problem is uh, low battery um, in the uh, on your 12 volt battery in the back of the car so uh, as you can see again like I've been I've been sitting in the car and the car won't or at least this console won't turn off um, according to Tyler D we have to detach the wiring that connects the odometer and, and this monitor onto the 12 volt battery in the back so we have to actually unplug it and um, and it restarts the whole thing so let's give it a try so Tyler D we're putting your your hack to the test all right so we're in the back of the car in the trunk this compartment right here is supposed to come off according to Tyler you pull it out uh, Let's see if I have any luck getting this off. Usually, the newer cars, it's just like tabbed in, so it's not a big problem. Okay, here we go. So as you can see, that's your battery right there. Okay, and we're supposed to take out this, this wire right here. Or this uh, clip-on right here there's a tab at the bottom according to Tyler so you push that while you pull it's kind of hard and I think uh, the previous owner has already done this hack just because the red tab is not it's no longer here or the, the the battery cover is not here anymore so let me try that let me just Let's put the camera down for a second so I can pull this out the right way. All right, so I think I'm getting some success in pulling out the tab. Okay, so according to Tyler, you can uh, have to let it sit for a couple of seconds and this should be the fix. So again, Tyler, thank you for the video. That's a huge life lifesaver for me. Thank you so much. Connecting it back and let's see if it works. I'm gonna put everything back in place. This covering right here. Uh, let's see. All right, so as I mentioned before, there should be a red tab over, over where the battery connection is, like this. Okay, so it, it appears that somebody had already done this before, or this procedure before. Uh, and I don't uh, I, I guess they haven't re they didn't return it now there's one problem though as you can see in there the car is off yet you can see that the the uh, monitor is still on so I'm gonna unplug it again one more time see the uh, the, the wires unplugged and the monitor inside is off so we'll give it a couple of seconds um, 
in the video it says uh, 30 seconds so I'm gonna wait for 30 seconds in the mean, meantime I want to show you what's what this tab right here the section looks like so you can see it has um, multiple things going on here which would be really hard and I tried to put it back in there it's quite hard without lifting this uh, lifting this part right here where where you can access the um, the spare tire see as you can see it folds up okay what we want to do is we want to take it out all the way like so that way we can really get in there and put the tab back properly you know, as properly as properly as we can and then all right so the monitor has been on, off off for quite some time now so I will now reinsert the wire let's see what happens okay all right so the monitor is on So basically I think the car is on let me see if it turns off there you go actually it wasn't on the monitor was on now I press the power button and as you can see all the lights are on which is great and now let's see if it turns off it does it <laughs> oh there you go now we managed to turn it off let's try it again let's turn it on everything comes on very good and it turns off and click thank you so much Tyler D now let's wrap it up let's let's put everything back together in the back and then this video video should be over soon let the problem up front is solved we now want to return this battery cover because you know we want to keep everything safe and secure all right you see that as in any other do-it-yourself video you always want to be careful remember you're dealing with electronics here so you do this at your own risk now we're not going to be responsible for um, any accidents but be careful when you handle this area of your car because there's there's electricity involved anyways that's in now we got to get this panel back in all right put this back in you actually kind of have to pull here so that slides in okay and now one more time we will try and see if it works or the hack work um, and voila Tyler D you're the man thank you so much for this DIY and this hack um, you really save us all of us Prius lovers out there a ton of money keeping our 2006 Prius on the road. Thank you, Tyler. Again, for those of you uh, who want to see the original video, please check out the descriptions below, and or the description below, and click on Tyler's page. Thank you.